stand with that nigga Ross, he's gonna always keep that beef alive with 50 for a lot of reasons. For one, gunplay. Man, that man ain't finna squash no beef with no 50. When gunplay got punched on and chain snatched and all that done, got a bears at the beat tip boards. Man, that shit'll break gunplay hard, man. That man gonna keep his loyalty with gunplay. You understand? Uh, another reason, marketing. When it died down, or when he ain't really in the algorithm, he can always diss 50. He can always in the algorithm fall for it every time. See, everybody under the comments saying 50 finna respond back in three, two, what? I know 50 finna go in. 50 not gonna go in on Ross because 50 realized that Ross need him to stay relevant. See, once 50 feel like that, he ain't gonna do the back and forth. 50 ain't on that type of timing no more. If it don't really make no sense or he can't really, he ain't really got nothing to push or he know you get more out of it than him, he ain't gonna fuck with it. Now, Diddy say something, he'll go back and forth. Jay-Z, he'll go back and forth. Um, ja Rule, he'll get him. You know what I'm saying? But Ross, nah, listen. Ross gotta keep saying his name. And it ain't no real, 50 ain't been dissing Ross. 50 ain't been taking no shots at Ross. It's just him. Keep going, keep going, and keep going. Because he need the marketing. He need the algorithm. Ain't nobody scared of no Rick Ross. Ain't nobody never died behind Rick Ross. Got knocked out or nothing. He ain't snatched nobody's chain. He ain't punked nobody. He ain't distorted nobody. Come on, man. They probably sold some work and shit. That's it. You can't trade no war stories with them niggas in Miami. They ain't kind of. I remember I had a DVD where he was hosting and talking about all the kingpins and the boogie boys and all that stuff. You can't trade no war stories with them niggas, man. Niggas from the 80s ain't never bought no brick or no four and a baby from no Rick Ross on the street. Where these stories at? You know what I'm saying? So he ain't no threat, man. He ain't no threat. Ask Dread. Dread no Ross ain't no damn threat. Come on, man. He can respect the father like a man. But other than that, like, he don't go no farther than that, like. So Ross is big. He got a deep voice. That's it. He ain't even got no real reason to keep that beef going. Besides marketing and gunplay. If the nigga so much of a Don and a boss and a shot caller and all this stuff, she's in them took your chain. Dread. 50 took gunplay in them chain. Where's the gunplay? Where's the get back? Them GDs made you crash your mate back. Yeah. The Vice Lords, one of them. They made you crash out. You've been a victim so many times. You've been a victim so many times. So I can understand. Like a nigga need a spot speed for Ross like he. Man. This fat nigga still in his feelings. You can tell he a hater. Like there ain't no real reason that they beefing. You understand? Like he need the algorithm. He won't fit it to respond. He see how it go viral. He want that beef so bad. But 50 ain't falling for the bait. He ain't. Because 50 like, man, this nigga still talking about me. Like, when a nigga interview me, they never saying, what's the beef with you and Ross? When y'all gonna squash that beef? Like, come on, man. They ain't got to mention you. You got to go viral off of 50 Cent Steel. But you the nigga that's popping. Come on, man. You and Ross, I mean, you and Meek Mill, y'all got to team up. Because nigga, we ain't trying to hit that. Y'all don't move the culture. We ain't jocking no Meek Mill or no goddamn Rick Ross. Y'all niggas could have been dead. All 50 had to do was drop a bag. Y'all niggas would have been up out of here, man. He man acting like he co-signing shit like he want a problem. My nigga Ben came in your grill, want to go in your grill. He ain't want that issue. He ain't want to fight that day. Come on, man. You could have been got smashed. You got spared one time. Come on, man. Ross be acting like he just a darn ass nigga, man. Like he just a shot call. You know G when the niggas get shot at, get pressed, get distorted, get punched on. Nothing. Jury took it. Nothing. But with you, your girl, your baby mama got fucked, got put on camera. You still cool with Floyd. 
<laughs> your boy got his chain snatched and whooped. But you ain't done nothing gangster but 50 the little homie. When nigga that manhandled your crew. Come on, man. Like, all you did was stay relevant. That's all you did. How you win that beef? Your old lady took a nigga to court and you kept dropping hit records. You ain't dropping no smash diss song. Now don't put your diss records at the top 10 best diss record or mention your diss record. You ain't that nigga like that. Come on, man. You ain't no threat, man. You ain't no problem. You ain't no issue. You just talk. You know what I'm saying? You a good rapper when you start talking, though. You be saying a whole bunch of bullshit. You ain't even making no sense. How you gonna make 50 a little nigga? You need a job. Man. You need to up your pay for the uh, Wingstop employees. Yeah, this nigga talking like <laughs> this niggas from Miami saying, yeah, Ross used to sell us bricks. Yeah, Ross ran this block. Them stories ain't out there. How the fuck you the boss? You ain't got no hood legendary stories. Ain't nobody never said you ran no blocks. Yeah, you ain't never bring no truckloads through. You ain't never feed the hood. You never, you never ran your hood. Where these documentaries at? You ask niggas fit don't even fuck with. Bang a smurf. Domination. All type of queen niggas, south side queen niggas, man. 50 ran this block. We was selling drugs for him. He was the big man before rap. He had these cars back then. He had niggas serving for him. Putting in work for him. They don't say that about you. You from the block or from a hood, but you ain't never ran it. You never was no cartel. You never was no plug, no big meats type nigga. Come on, man. This nigga talk like he just a don. Like he been a don all his life. Talking too heavy, man. You do good business. That's it, nigga. We ain't jocking to Rick Ross. You can't sell out like 50 did. You can't go on tour like 50 did worldwide and sell out like that. Do a million tickets in a week. Those niggas ain't going crazy for you like that. You keep trying to compare yourself to 50, nigga. You ain't on that level, man. You ain't. No type of way. Uh, wings. Champagne. Yeah. That's it. Nigga, you ain't got no diamond album. You ain't got no diamond singles. If so, somebody on it. You need John Legend. You need Cool and Dre. You need Meek Mill. You need DJ Khaled. You need all these features. Yeah, man. You always had help. You never did shit by yourself. Come on, man. You always had to have Cool and Dre, T Pain, uh, DJ Khaled. You know that little team you had in the beginning. Come on, man. You ain't never put your niggas on. You ain't never turned Triple C's into G Unit. You ain't never put them first. Come on, man. All you had was Meek Mill. Meet me would have took off with any label. <laughs> it would have took off with any label. Come on, man. Wale, he did this shit on his own, man. Like he wrote a hit for him or something, man. You know, good CEO. You gonna thug it out with Meet Mill because all you got left. Niggas ain't trying to see you. Go on a tour by yourself. You and somebody regular. I bet you you won't sell out. Some states, that's it. You ain't finna go, you ain't finna set no million tickets in a week. Niggas ain't trying to see you, man. You talking like you that dude. Either way, like in music or in the streets. You ain't that dude, neither way. These stories ain't out here, man. I don't understand how you got all this respect. Or a nigga look at you like you a threat or something. You ain't no problem, man. You would have been dead, man. <laughs> you would have been dead if you was an issue, man. You ain't no threat, man. You just talk, man. You just want the little you Nigga ain't falling for that bait. Nigga don't need you. They don't need to talk about you, man. Nigga go on tour, still on tour. Nigga got them doing all these shows, these movies, man. Nigga ain't thinking about you. Just received a diamond plaque. Nigga ain't thinking about your ass, man. You ain't ready to die. Come on, man. man. We can't name that one time Brick Ross did some gangster shit and we amazed. Like, damn, that nigga did that. Yeah, that nigga had them nigga robbed. Yeah, that nigga had them nigga killed. Yeah, Ross knocked them niggas out. We ain't seen Ross punch on nothing or start nothing. Kill nothing, shoot nothing, went to prison for nothing. How's Ross this big Don, big boss? How could he be the king of Miami? Yeah, man, he's got a deep voice. He's scared niggas with the voice, that's it. He just big, that's all. We hit him in them legs, man, he falling down, man. Hit that boy in them legs, man, he falling down. What nigga Ross done took the war like a Supreme? Ross ain't took no nigga like Supreme to war. He ain't been in no Jimmy Henchman beef. When you bring up all them gangsters and all them cartels and all them mob niggas in uh, Florida, they don't bring up Rick Ross. His name not tied into nobody's story. Nobody, no big dog in Miami, his name not tied into it. How's this nigga the Don? He ain't took no monsters to war. He ain't got money with the best of them. Man, come on, man. 
He would have been had this DVD. He would have been had the documentary. He ain't come out with no documentary coming back to the hood. Them junkies don't know him. Them J's don't know no Rick Ross. Yeah, man. Then when he got a tour with Jesus, he lost that beef. Got his chain snatched by Dredd. Dredd took his chain. He won't take shots at him. He show him love. All the little issues Ross been in too, man. He got handled. Fuck this nigga. With the real Rick Ross, he got handled. He don't take shots at him. He know better. You know, Ross know his, yeah, his real info. When he was a CEO, he was following all the rules. He was hard on all the inmates. Yeah, like, come on, man. But that's the biggest boss. That's Ross. That nigga talk a good game, man. That shit be sounding good. Deep voice and all that stuff. That shit sound good, but that shit ain't better nothing. That shit. It's a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you getting your money. You doing good business, whatever you doing. That's it, nigga. We ain't really jocking the music or the gangster stories or nothing like that. Like, we don't see you like that. <laughs> we don't see you. We don't look at you like that. You know? Um, but y'all got an album coming out. Y'all need the sales. Y'all need the look. <laughs> Ross, you got to say a nigga name. You got to say a nigga name. You just talking, nigga ain't, that shit ain't going viral. You gotta put 50, you gotta say something about Drake, you gotta say something about this one, Birdman, that one. You got to, nigga talk about when you got your chain snatch with Drake. Yeah, you got into it with old boy. Talking about he don't give no turkeys, no food, you doing this and that. Nigga, he talking about the lyrics. He talking about why you still rapping about drug dealing, killing, robbing, and all that, that you ain't doing none of that, that you never did. You never did, who you kidnapped? Yeah, yeah, who bought some keys from Ross? Yeah, where the dead bodies at? Where is that? Trap Lord can't get no information on you. He ain't heard nothing. Trap Lord, you ain't got no information on goddamn Rick Ross. Where the bodies at? He, he said he a monster. He said he a kingpin. Where the keys at? Yeah, who he know? He know the real Noriega. Cap, he said he know the real Noriega. Yeah, I know. You locked him up. You the one who took him to the cell. Yeah, you know his real name. You took him to the cell. You locked the door. You got down, locked the door. You open the door. You count. One, two, three. Real Noriega. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, you yeah. He was on count. He was on count. That's it, man. I mean, gave a nigga a tray or something. You know, you know, favor. You gave him a pen. You gave him a goddamn some paper, some toilet paper, a tray, a food tray. You gave him a phone. Stuck some food in for him. Come on, man. You wasn't the CEO that was bringing that work in. Stop it, man. You wasn't the CEO that was bringing that work in. Stop it, man. Yeah, man. Talking about old boy, don't be giving no turkeys back. He been giving back forever since the beginning. You better do your homework on, buddy. You talking about them lyrics, nigga? Y'all need them lyrics. <laughs> Without them lyrics, y'all don't sell. Me, me, know what it is, man. Me, me, and I ain't happy with you, man. He just doing that shit, man. Cause ain't nothing else to do but ball with the crew. Yeah, he ain't even happy with you, man. He just co-signing shit, man. Yeah, man. Y'all niggas ain't in war mode. Y'all niggas ain't, man. Ross, it been a long time since you had a hit record, a big anthem. Been a long time, man. Yeah, y'all did millions of views on them two new songs y'all did. Yeah, I know y'all gotta. Get on y'all go, go, Power Ranger. Y'all gotta get on y'all Power Ranger shit, man. I know y'all gotta come together, man. Teamwork, man. But solo, dolo. Niggas ain't talking that shit, man. Better call T Pain. Call T Pain, man. Tell him get off the game, nigga. Come to the studio, man. Get off the game, man. <laughs> we got a game in the other room, man. Go handle this shit, man. Knock these songs out, man. All that, them old Rick Ross, that whole style, all that shit dead, man. That whole DJ Khaled. T Pain on all that shit, that man, shit over with, man. John Legend, all that shit, that, that shit over with, man. You better call French Montana. You need a stay scheme, man. You need one of them, man. Yeah, man. French Montana got a hook for you, man. Yeah, that little run was over with, man. That little run was over with, man. I understand, but let me get up out of here, man. You know, I had a timing on this shit, man. But y'all hit that like button, hit that comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit, man. Come.